Hey everybody, welcome back to another review. In this review, we are gonna be going over the WeLight RB9. Okay, so We Light has done another really good job, spoiler alert, in getting us another good light. Um, but before we go and talk about the actual light itself, let's just talk about what you get in the box. So in this little box, you actually get quite a bit. Let's start with uh, the tripod. So the tripod is actually really good material. It's very heavy duty. It is plastic, but it's like a harder plastic. Um, you can spread out the bottom to make a nice little kind of tabletop tripod. Like I said, it's very durable, so it's gonna give you the support that you need um, as long as you put it on the on the right side. If you put it on the wrong side, the, the top actually twists so you can put like the uh, like your phone at a different angle and things like that and the, or the light at a different angle. So you just have to make sure you're holding it right. And as long as you're holding it correctly, you will be good to go. It does come with a cold shoe as well, so you can use that to attach to the light uh, right on there, so that's nice. So take note, this light actually is a USB-C, so it does come with the USB-C cable, so that's nice, but just remember that it does actually take USB-C, not uh, micro. It also includes a little carrying bag, which is really nice. The light fits right in there, and so does the tripod. The tripod slips out right on the side. You can see the stitching down the side, so that is actually separated, so you can put the uh, tripod on one side as well as the light on the other side. They also include a diffuser, which is really nice. It encases the entire light. Um, definitely adds that diffusion that you need because it is a bright light. Um, so this definitely helps with when you have to have it kind of directly at yourself or at a subject. Okay, and the light itself. The light is actually really good material. I thought it was gonna be hard plastic, but it's not. It's actually full metal. Um, it definitely has some weight to it, nice and heavy like you would think it would be. Um, you can tell they didn't kind of skimp out on those materials, so that's good to see. Um, the buttons as well, you can tell that they, like I said, you have to really press them. Um, they all give a nice little clicky kind of sound. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's definitely a good quality light as far as build goes. All right, so I'm gonna give you four reasons why I feel you should be getting this light. Okay, so the first reason is the design. The design of this light is actually super, super good. I mean, again, like I said, it's very small, it's compact, you can kind of throw it in your bag um, or you can put it in the included bag, but it is very, very good design. Uh, most importantly though, it has a CRI rating of 95, just like the other V lights that we reviewed, the Sprite 20s. So it matches perfectly with them. So this actually complements them perfectly. It's a good, good like addition to that. And like I said, the quality of the light that you're getting is really, really well worth the money putting into it. Second reason is the battery. Battery on this light is two hours of nonstop 100% power usage. That's actually really, really good for this a battery of this size or a light of this size. You can actually go through it if you put the t intensity or the power down to, you know, 25% or something. Obviously, that battery is going to last much, much longer. I haven't done any tests on that. I just know that it lasts two hours at full power of two, of two hours, which is really, really good. This also doubles as a like a charging brick if you need it, which is really cool because then you can use this to power something else. There's been plenty of times I needed to you know power something and didn't. Actually, my Mix Pre 3 here has USB-C on it, and there's been tons of times where I just don't have something to power it, but you can actually plug this in and keep going. I mean, why not? It already has USB-C on there, so it's cool they did that. It takes about three and a half hours to charge this thing from zero to you know 100%. So it's not something you're gonna do really, really quickly or power it really, really quickly. So you definitely wanna make sure you have this thing charged all the time, leave it on overnight and you'll, you'll be good to go. So the third reason is the app support. This light can also be controlled by the We Light app, the same app that's controlling the lights behind me. So let's actually give it a quick try and see how it goes. So as you can see now, this light is now paired with the app. So if I put this on all red, it goes through and so the lights behind me. Um, again, you can also change it so that this light will do something specifically or it'll change from that one and that one. So they can all each do their own thing or you can keep it just like that. And the fourth reason is the cost. Being right around $100, this light, when you kind of pair the fact that it's got the low cost, it's got the good build quality, it has a CRI rating of 95, it can match the other Sprite 20 lights behind me. You can kind of put everything into a nice little kit and set it's all worth it and, and, and all together, I mean, it's only gonna be a few hundred dollars to get everything, but individually, this light is definitely worth it. I highly recommend that you get it. 
Okay, guys, that is it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe, all that stuff that I'm supposed to beg you guys to do. We are close to 100, 100 subscribers. So maybe we'll give something away for the 100 subscribers. So please, if you watch this video, please make sure you hit that button down below. We will appreciate that.